everybody, my name is Aaron aka Pulling Teeth and welcome back to Fire Pro Wrestling's Fire Promoter Mode. I haven't recorded this in fucking ages. <laughs> uh, but either way, here we are, we're back for our uh, second month, so it'll be our second event that we're going into. I am currently in the free agents section here looking to hire somebody else, like bring in somebody new, some... Some new blood for the company, uh, give ourselves more than just the generic six guys, and actually have other people on our roster who are actually on our roster, properly. Uh, there's a lot of choice for North America. Apparently Drew McIntyre is North American. I could have sworn he was Scottish, but whatever. Uh, what are we? It's been a long time since I've done this. Are we showmen? I think we're showmen, right? We're American showmen, if I remember rightly. So that's what we're... Because we're that early on, we're looking for showmen. Who... Because uh, nobody else will really sign with us other than showmen at the minute. And we've not got the money to sign anybody too popular. Damien Sandow somehow got, like, a popularity in America. Uh, showman Miz is S-pop, so that's not going to work. Uh, Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick's very cheap. He's got, like, no popularity for some reason. And he's a showman. He's someone to keep in mind. And just skipping past people that are not showmen because it just never work. Ruby Riot, she's A-pop. Liv Morgan, B-pop. Uh... Ooh, Kenny Omega. Oh, A-pop. How is Kenny not S? <laughs> Ortiz is B-pop. Uh, Scorpio Sky is not... Showman, showman, Chuck Taylor, Chucky T is B pop. I'm thinking we're only going to get someone like C and below. I don't think anyone above that. Would... What happened to Marco's face? What the fuck happened to Marco Stunt's face? <laughs> Moving along from no faced Marco. Uh... Who are we thinking? Who, who do we think is good? MJF is S pop, so that's not going to work. Moxley, of course, is S-pop, so that's not going to work. Penelope Ford? She's C-pop. Could do it. Not the worst skills in the world. Let's see what else our options are. DDP! 62 years old. He could carry the company on his back, surely. But he's A-pop. Uh, Vampira is Lucha, apparently. That's a thing. Uh, Hulk Hogan, <laughs> no. Apparently Hulk Hogan's got no move set, according to this. This version of Hogan has no moves. Even Chuck Palumbo has more moves. Wait, is that someone else without a face? I oh, know, Vader had a face. The Mac. Mickey. Uh... Uh... No, I don't really see Alice and Kay working. <laughs> Rob Van Dam. I can't do a Rob Van Dam voice. What am I even trying to do? Let's have a look. Uh, homicide. Homicide could work. He's got really good stats as well. I'm thinking we offer Homicide a contract. Yeah, let's offer Homicide a deal. Let's 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 do that. I don't think they like us very much, but he's cheap. We'll go in the middle. Homicide's in. Something I didn't think I'd be saying today. Let's get our event booked. Let's go. Standard event because we're still very very early on. They won't let us do anything else. Uh, you know what? Oh, wait. Yeah, let's go back. 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 I want to also invite no one from another company because they won't do it and we've not got the money. Uh, where was Brian Kendrick? There's Brian Kendrick. I want to invite Brian too. He's in. Okay, I can't remember what we did in like the first month. I genuinely can't. It's been that long since I've done this. Uh, okay, Jack Howard is our champion. 
Shall we give Homicide the title shot in his first match? Shall we do that? I feel a bit ballsy, but you know what, let's do it. Homicide comes straight in, straight into a title shot. I will put Brian Kendrick next on the card just to keep him happy. And you can go again. This is Matt Robinson, our second top draw. And what have we got for these four? Let's mix this up a bit. Thomas Walker and David Houston. I remember David Houston faced Bill Bullock, didn't he, in the first one? So then you guys go against each other. Yeah, not so bad. Can we up our ticket price? We could, but we'll lose too many people, so we're still going to be cheap. We're probably not going to make a lot of money. But it's fine. Uh, that's all good, it's all good to go, it's all good, it's all good. Right. Uh, we're not changing any of that because we're too small. Yeah. For a card that was thrown together in like 30 seconds, I kind of like it. Looks doable, looks presentable, it looks okay. So I'm thinking, I wanted to do a whole thing where we we watch some of the matches, but not all. So I'm wondering, with this month, as I usually think, debuts and title matches are good to watch. Our debut is also a title match, so it just fits the one this time. So I'm thinking we just watch the one this time. We just watch the one for this month. But let's do our merch first. Oh. Nah. We need that. Do we get any more merch? Should we go goods? Let's get some goods too. Okay. I'm gonna save it. Because I don't trust that this game won't crash on me. I have so much faith. Right. Is it all booked in? It's all booked in, right? It's all good to go. It's all set. It's all set. I think we watch the one match. We watch the main event. I'll commentate over the main event. And we'll go from there. Let's do this. Let's do this shit. Let's go. February event. I need to start naming these events. I think people should help me come up with names for these events. Like, give me some random pay-per-view style names. And we'll see what we come up with. Okay. Opening the show tonight. Mickey Williams versus Bill Bullock. Let's see what happens. The little bollock, Bill Bullock. Taking on Big Mick. You sound terrible at this. 75%. Okay. It's okay. Mickey Williams gets a victory with a lift. Pitfall? What the fuck is the lift? Let's drop an elevator on him. But Mickey gets the victory there. We'll get Thomas Walker and David Houston coming up next. I feel this is probably going to be better. I feel these guys are... Uh, these guys are probably better in ring. We'll see what happens. Called it. European uppercut attack by Thomas Walker seals in the victory over David Houston, our junior heavyweight champion losing. But I think Thomas is a heavyweight, so it won't really put him in standing for a title shot. Matt Robinson taking on THE Brian Kendrick, our guest for the evening, who did show up, so thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. You're a good sport. We like you. 83% again, Matt Robinson gets the victory, Brian Kendrick putting over our home talent on his way in, and then straight back out of the door again. Okay, main event time, I got, oh, <laughs> ignore that, that didn't happen. Main event time, okay, the card's been above average, it's not been great, but it's it's getting somewhere. Let's see if the main event can salvage the show or ruin it completely. Ladies and gentlemen, Homicide versus Jack Howard for our World Championship. Homicide's first match in the company and already, already getting a title shot. Because why the hell not? 
Homicide whipping Jack Howard straight into the corner. Your referee for this evening, Mr. T. Scoop slam by Homicide. Big boot though from Jack, firing back from it. Off the ropes, big shoulder tackle, taking the smaller man down. Jack Howard obviously going to try and use his power to his advantage here. He's going to try and muscle Homicide around, throw him about. The Homicide's a wily veteran. Homicide's been around a long ass time and he's a dangerous motherfucker. He'll, he'll drop people on the backs of their heads and not care. It's just what he does. Hook up there into the corner, elbow to the back. Double underhook, no, no, blocks it, homicide, back body drop. Got him with a chin lock there, slowing it down. Slow down, kid. Oh god, scoop slams him to the floor on those little shitty mats that we borrowed from a high school from the looks of it. Elbow to the back, stomp again to the back. Homicide's working the spine of Jack Howard. Maybe knows something we don't. Take the big guy out at the lower back, he's not going to be able to throw you around very well. Back to the chin lock, knee into the spine. Homicide's got a game plan here. Very clearly has a game plan. Suplex again, yeah, working the back. Homicide's got some sort of plan here. He knows what he's doing. Arm drag there from Jack Howard into what I think is a sharpshooter. He applied it very quickly. Oh, here we go, back and forth, chop to right hand. Jack Howard being a bit more technical than you'd expect, and Homicide just punching him square in the face and straight back to that chin lock. Anyone will think that Homicide's coming here, like, going, I know exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to break your fucking back, kid, and I'm going to take this belt. Oh, God, but a big DDT from Jack Howard dropping Homicide in his dome. Okay, Homicide doing the muscle in there. That was impressive. Got a two count out of it as well. What the hell is that? It looks painful, whatever it is. Off the ropes. Big shoulder tackle once again from Jack Howard. An elbow to the face. Jabs him. Speaking of jabs, Homicide's like, you want to throw hands, kid? I can throw hands. Cover from Homicide. One, two. Kick out there by the, the, the kick out by Jack Howard. The Hollywood hunk. Uh oh, oh god, gringo killer, oh, one, two, and oh my god, that was should have been it, that should have been it, small package, one, two, again Homicide this close to beating Jack Howard, but Jack's not staying down, Homicide proving that, you know, being a veteran, he knows what he's doing here, he's dominated this, it might be his first match in this company, but it's far from his first match. Jack Howard's still very young in his career. Maybe our world champion, but this is only our second event. Full Nelson? No. Tossed overhead. Dropped on his back. Clothesline from Homicide. Another jab to the face. Stomping again to the spine. Homicide knows where he's going. He, I've said it multiple times already, but it, it bears repeating. He is working that spine. Jack Howard's just trying to get some sort of offense going to keep Homicide at bay. He's pushing him back. Oh, jabbed into the corner there. Thrown back in himself. DDT again. Both men down. Struggling to get back up. But Howard's got there. Jack fall away. Slam. Tossing him like a sack of shit and going to the top. Big elbow drop. Homicide got out of the way. One of his own to the spine. He knows what he's doing. Big splash there this time. Homicide studied ready for this. Jack Howard might be young in his career. He's not really had much to go on, but the little that he has, Homicide studied it very closely. He's been watching the tapes. We say that even though nobody watches tapes anymore. And again, running power slam, but he's in the ropes this time. That might have been a mistake from Homicide. Big elbow drop from Jack Howard in the cover of his own. One, two, close to a retain there. Almost had it. Belly to belly again from Homicide. Sticky with his game plan. He knows what's working. Back body drop. That wasn't a back body drop, it was a back suplex. Whoa, pull back there for a short arm clothesline. I mean, Homicide knows what he's doing. He knows, he's brought, he knows what brought him to the dance. 
knows what's working and he's sticking with it. He's not veering from that game plan. No matter how much Jack Howard fights back, starts hitting him with these big lariats and starts building some sort of offense, Homicide finds a way to bring it back down to his pace, working on the spine. He's not getting thrown off. Wait. No, there Jack Howard was going for something big. We know Jack Howard likes to finish people off with that package pile driver. But he's not managing to get hold of it there. Homicide shut it down very quickly. He knows if Jack gets that, it could be all over. Oh, discus lariat though, but Jack's crumbling. He can barely stand. Jack needs to finish this, and he needs to finish this now. Caught her though from Homicide, that could be all she wrote. No, another kick out. Too close to the ropes. Drags him back over to the corner. He's going for another elbow drop. No, a fist drop right to the arse. Okay, you know, we might be on pay-per-view, but I'd rather you not fist Homicide's backside in the ring. Get very awkward. He's only been under contract for like a day. Scoop slam though from Jack Howard. Bang! Points to the corner. The Hollywood hunk. Oh, here we go. Package pile driver. That's got to be all she wrote. Champion retains. One, two. Oh no, Homicide kicks out. Both these men kicking out of the other one's finisher. These two here to prove something. Going for it again. Another package pile driver. But Homicide's up before Jack is. Jack can't. Can, he's struggling now. Multiple Germans. But again, too close to the ropes. Suplex though from Jack Howard. He's building some momentum here. He's getting back into this. He's been so close. A third package pile driver in the center of the ring. Can Homicide get out of this one? No, he cannot. Jack Howard retains, but my god, it was not easy. Hell of a main event there, Jack Howard. Well done, kid. First title defense, cementing the reign. Homegrown talent here, homegrown talent. I'm proud of this kid. 100% match evaluation, damn straight. Now I'm skippy hippie. That was good. That was impressive. I like that. That was a hell of a main event. A hell of a way to cap off the show. Fantastic stuff. Our champion is really proving to be something. And look at that. We got we got over capacity. Sell out. 85% overall. Everyone was happy. Main event saved the show. <laughs> Well, that's the way it works in wrestling sometimes. Your entire show could be fucking awful, but if the main event's great, that's all people remember, so... We'll get on to a victory. See, and we actually made money! Nice! 3,244 dollars. But hell, we made money. And NXT are running a singles tournament this month. And so are Stardom. And so are Ring of Honor. Nice! I like that! That was a good event! I like our, I like our February event. Star Wrestler Paul joined ECW. Paul? Paul who? Kelly joined Tekken. <laughs> Spider joined Comic. I'm assuming that's Spider-Man. Spider-Man has joined the comics. Good. Boss, I know you got your hands full. We've got to set up a gym. Uh, yeah, but we don't have to do that yet, because we've not really got the money. Either way, I think we'll leave that one there. I think it's one event per episode would kind of work out quite well. So thank you everybody for joining me for this one, and I will see you all next time.